All right, here we go. Our objective for today, I can write and graph a linear equation using the slope and y-intercept. Let's read together. One, two, three. I can write and graph a linear equation using the slope and y-intercept. So we're still on the same concept of linear equations. But today, I want you to write inside of your Fermi model, slope-intercept form. Look up, guys. Slope-intercept form. Slope intercept form inside your fair model. I want you to write the word slope in green and intercept in red. So if you have your color pens, get those ready. I'm sorry? Yes, slope intercept form. Uh, form could be in uh, black. Slope in green, intercept in red, and form in black. So it should look something like this. Slope, intercept, form. Hunter, you're right over there? All right, here we go. Definition for slope, intercept, form. It says, a special type of linear relationship that can be written in the form y equals mx plus b, where the m is the slope, and the plus b is the constant, also known as the y-intercept. Copy that. So it says, slope-intercept form, a special type of linear relationship that can be written in the form y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope, and the plus b is the constant, also known as the y-intercept. So that's a, a bunch of information for the definition. However, whenever I ask you for slope intercept form, look up please, all you need to remember is y equals mx plus b. Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Without looking at your notes, tell your uh, neighbor your slope intercept form. Okay, we got it, yes? So now check this out. Let me give you examples of what equations look like in slope intercept form. We got y equals x plus 1 y equals 3x minus 2, y equals negative 2x plus 3, y equals 3 fourths x minus 5, 5x plus 2 equals y, and y equals 4x. Copy those, and then I'll go and elaborate on that. All right, here we go. Writing utensils down, look up to the screen. You'll finish copying in a little bit. I'll give you some time in a little bit. But I want to go over this really quick. Writing utensils down. All right, here we go. So watch. Why is it so important to know that it's in slope-intercept form? Because it helps us to identify two things that we're looking for today. What are the two things that I'm going to have you identify? The slope and the y-intercept. What are the two things? Slope and y-intercept from an equation. So watch. I'm going to do some uh, math magic here. I'm going to get this equation. Oh, sorry. And I'm going to align it up here. Writing pencils down, please. Thank you. Okay, look at this one. Does this one look like this? No. Does it look in the same form? No. Yes. So now by looking at this one, hopefully, by now you should know what the slope is for this equation 
and the y-intercept for that equation. Talk it over your neighbor, what is the slope and the y-intercept for that equation? All right, Reagan, what is our slope for that equation? M equals 3, and what did I say about slope? It has to be in what? Fraction form, so it's what? 3 over 1, so that's my slope. And everyone, what is my y-intercept of that equation? Negative 2. And that's easy to see because here's the y, here's the equal sign, here's the x. So that means my slope is 3 and my y-intercept is negative 2. Are we there so far? All right, look at this one. This one right here. Tell your neighbor the slope and tell your neighbor the y-intercept for that. Let's see, Esmeralda, what is our slope? 1 over 1, hands if you got that. That is correct, and what is my y-intercept? 1. Are we there so far? All right, with that same idea, let's look at this one right here, look up, this one. So your neighbor the slope for that one and the y-intercept, please. So on this one, who noticed that the slope was already in fraction form? Yeah, so you just write 3 over 4. And what is my y-intercept? Negative 5. So far so good? Now, this one obviously, uh, even though the y is on the other side, it's still the x is here, that means my slope is what? 5 over 1, and my y-intercept is 2. This one here has a little, it's a little slider I threw. Let's see if you can identify. Look at it. Look at this equation, and tell your neighbor the slope and the y-intercept for that equation. Okay, let's see. Brody, what is the slope? 4 1 and my y intercept? That is correct. Hands if you got that. And yeah, and what does that mean? That our line, if we were to graph this and if it crosses that y, at the y intercept 0, where is it crossing? At the point of origin, right? At 0, 0. That's where our line is going to cross. Any questions with slope intercept form? We know how, I, how to identify the slope and the y-intercept. And we know how it looks. Look at it. Look how it looks. All right. Now let me show you what it is not slope-intercept form. Okay, before you copy it, talk it over to your neighbor and let them know why these are not slope-intercept form. <laughs> All right, let's see. Avril, the first one. Why is this not slope intercept form? The y isn't by itself, it's together with the x. Does everybody agree with that? This has a particular name. When we have the x and the y together, they're called what now? Yeah, they're all two variable equations, but this one has a particular name in that order. We've got the name. Let's see. Isaac. Uh, no. Close. What do we call it when we have the x and the y together on the same side? Ryan. Jason. Devin. Okay, 
it seems like we forgot when we have the x and the y on the same side of the equation, it's called standard form. Remember, after that, I asked you guys to identify a, b, and c. Yes. All right. Good. Next, why are these two not in slope-intercept form? Marissa. Any number that has the x has to go first. So this one should go there, and the 3 should go at the end. Same thing with this one here, that one at the end. You agree with that? Yeah, so in this case, this is not slope and intercept form. This would just, we would just call it y form, not slope and intercept form. So we got it? All right, copy those. And as you're copying those, we'll also come up with some hashtags, please, at least two or three. What makes slope and intercept form slope and intercept form? Bless you. All right, let's see. Hashtag Michael, go. Whoa, y equals mx plus b. We got another one. Julian. No standard slide. No standard I mean form. Form. Okay. We got another one. One more, one more. Okay, sir. Uh, X before uh, X before V Y intercept. Yep, that is correct. We got this, yes? Yes, Mr. Q. All right, good. All right. Here go some steps. Don't copy the steps. I just want to go over the steps so you can see what we're going to be doing today. Look at step one. What is so key of step one? Solve for y. Do you guys see that all the slope intercept form, the y was by itself? Yes, that's why we need to make sure that we solve for y. Okay. Next, make sure, oh, and by the way, you need to write in slope intercept form. Do we know how to identify the y-intercept and the slope once it's in that form? Yes, we did that already, right? Right now, I'm going to show you how to graph using that and also how to write an equation in slope-intercept form, okay? So check this out. Write your utensils down, look up to the screen. This problem, example 1a, has two parts. So pay attention, please. Here we go. Don't copy anything, just pay attention. It says, part one, write an equation. And what do they give us? The slope and the y-intercept. What is the second part? Graph the line. So I'm going to do part one first. Everybody ready? Here we go. To write an equation given the slope and y-intercept, I, I need to write my slope-intercept form first. So everyone, what is my slope-intercept form? Y, y equals mx plus b. That's the very first thing we need to do. And you're just paying attention right now. Ready? The second thing we need to do now that we have our equation form and our, and our uh, values, all we have to do is substitute in there. So y equals, instead of m, what goes there? Negative 2 fifths, bring down the x plus, what is my y-intercept? 4. And here's my equation. Am I done with the first part? Yes. I'm about to do the second part, but before I do that, I want you to copy example 1A and copy that up to right there. Do that right now, please. Copy that. So, I'm going to do part two. Write your utensils down, look up to the screen. 
So part one, did I write an equation using that information? Yes, it's right there. Straightforward, yes? Part two, I'm going to graph using this form, slope-intercept form. Now, so far, we've graphed using a table, yes? We've used the cover-up method. You guys remember that one? This is the third method, using the slope-intercept form. So pay attention. This is probably the easiest way of graphing to me. That's what I think. So here we go. So let's see if you agree with me. Step one, looking at the equation, I'm going to start with what I know about the equation. What do I know? That this has a slope. Okay, I have the slope. And I have a y-intercept. Now, what does that tell me about the graph? That y-intercept, that our graph is going to cross at what? 4 of y. So check this out. I look for 4 of y. That means my graph is going to cross right there. Do you agree with that? Yeah, because that's what it tells me. At 4 is where our graph is going to cross. Next, from this point, another point is close using this slope. Now the slope tells me what? Rise over run. What is a rise? Is it up? Negative 2, is that up? No, it's how many? Down, how many steps? How many to the right? So check this out. So from here I go 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And for those of you that weren't looking, you just already missed it. Writing utensils down, look up to the screen, please. Pretty please. Here it goes again. Where do I start? At the y-intercept. From there, I use the slope. What is my slope? Rise over run. This rise, instead of going up, since it's a negative, I go down. How many steps? Two. How many to the right? One, two, three, four, five. There's my point. Now, since it's a straight line, guess what? There should be another point away from this one, the same slope. Is that correct? So watch. From here, I'm going to use the slope again. How many steps down? One, two. How many to the right? One, two, three, four, five. There's another point. Right there, I can actually use that and graph my line going through those points. And there it is. Copy that, please. Bless you. Bless you. Uh, So let's see, let's recap. Part one of this problem is write an equation given that information. Do we know how to do that? Yes. Part two is using this form to graph our line. Where did we start? With a y-intercept. And then using the slope to plot our other points. I need you to plot at least three points and then graph your line. We got it? Okay, I want you to go to the, to the other coordinate plane. You're going to do one uh, by yourself, but I'm going to guide you. Here we go. You don't have to write the instructions anymore. I just want you to write example 1B. Write that down on the next coordinate plane. Example 1B. Slope equals 4 and y-intercept equals negative 6. So two things I want from you. Write an equation in slope intercept form, and then from there, graph the line. Ready? Go. I'll give you a head start, copy that, and go. Okay, first things first. What did you write down first? Uh, Jason. Um, I wrote y and so we got that down. Okay. Next, Samantha, what did you write next? And so we got that. However, now the slope has to be what? In fraction, so it's what? 4 over 1. Make sure you mark that. Because now we need it for the graph. Is that correct? All right, so this is our equation. So let's see. 
Where do I start graphing, Reagan? Close. What do we know? That it's the y-intercept. What's our y-intercept? Negative 6, which means it's on the y-axis. Negative 6, which is right there. Are we there so far? Hands if you got that. Okay. What's our slope? 4 up and 1 to the right. Why up? Because this one is a positive now, right? So I go from here, I go 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1 to the right. Plot your point, and let's do it again from there for the next point. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 to the right. And you need at least three points. You can go one more if you want just to practice, but at least three points and then graph your line. And have you got that? Okay, good. Yes? You just write the equation. Yeah, but I still want to see it in fraction form, the slope. Huh? Oh, yeah. I'll do that. Ready? Do this one by yourself. Example 1C. Write the equation and graph the line. Check with the neighbor, see what they got. All right, let's see. Equation. Uh, Hunter. And if you got that in your graph, where did we start, Reagan? Negative 3. And what is my slope? Up and 1 to the right. 2 up, 1 to the right, 2 up, 1 to the right. And my graph should look something like that. Hands if you got that. All right. Tell me where the fingers all come through you are with this. 1 being the lowest, 5 being the highest. 5 4, 5 4, 5 4, 3 and a half, 3. By force. Okay? How many of you have weird fingers? All right. Uh, on your Cornell notes. Um, now, check this out. Some of the home police are just going to ask you to write an equation. Look at this one. Slope 1 fourth, y intercept 4. So, you never the equation on that one. y equals 1 fourth x plus 4. We got this, yes? However, copy this one, last one. Example super Q. On your Cornell note, it says find the slope. Just write find the slope. You don't have to write the, the rest of it. Just write find the slope, and here's the equation 3x minus 2y equals 8. So they're asking us to find the slope, m equals, but we can't because it's not in slope intercept form. Tell your neighbor what you need to do so that we can find the slope. 
We need to leave x, I mean y by itself, is that correct? So that means I subtract 3x, subtract 3x from each side. We're left with negative 2y equals negative 3x plus 8. What's my last step? Divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2. y equals, this is already in fraction form, but negative divided by negative is positive. So this is 3 over 2x. What is 8 divided by 2? Negative 4. So what are they asking us for? Only the what? Slope. So what is my slope? 3 over 2. We got it? Yeah. All right. Home play for tonight is on pages 184 through 185. Do all of them only. There is tutoring. If I don't see you, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.